Ding ding. He's definitely MOM the day. He's put a shift and a half in. You can see. Well, hello everybody. Um, remember the crystal radio set project. Uh, the coil on this is um, a little bit too small, so therefore we're receiving a little bit of a too high a frequency, we're around uh, 2 megahertz. So we've been on a hunt, uh, Mrs. Dubious and I, and um, we've been looking for various different things that we can use as a coil. And in fact the one that <laughs> was got stuck on us <laughs> was um, a uh, Wilco uh, lint roller. Uh, thankfully, um, one of them has completely. It's even come. It even comes. Look, with its own little sticky as well. So, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and um, start winding a new coil. In fact, we have to remove this old coil, which is uh, a bit of a shame. So, that's the old coil. Off, off with the old, and uh, we need to start making a new coil. So, bear with us. Alright, so Mrs. Dubious is helping with this build. So the uh, diameter and length of this coil former has given us um, enough capacity to be able to add on uh, probably double the amount of wire that we had, or twice the amount of turns that we had. So we've got a much uh, longer length of um, of wire on here, much bigger coil ultimately, and therefore a lower frequency. All right, hello people. Um, so uh, we're inside, we've wound a new coil, which I hope you can see here. It's not uh, fixed onto the, to the board yet, uh, but now with this new coil, we can tune into a couple of different radio stations. One of them is uh, Radio 5, BBC Radio 5 Talk Sport. The other one I'm not sure about. Uh, the other one I think is higher up the frequencies because you have to have the capacitor uh, plates misaligned or opened uh, in order to get that, which means that ultimately you've got less capacitance, which means you've got a higher frequency. Anyway, uh, the key thing that I really wanted to show you is that this actually works. A few people in the last video said, does this work? So uh, Dave's on camera at the moment. He's got, he's got one hand on an earth clip. He's got one hand on a camera. Um, so I'm just going to uh, show you this. Uh, here's the uh, little microphone. And uh, what I'm going to ask Dave to do is just zoom into this area here. I give you the... So hopefully now you can hear a sports commentator. Well marked by the defender. Nevertheless, kept in play in this near side by Mares for Leicester. Yeah. Mares with two defenders. And then what I'm going to do here, if I move this, this little spring, spring a ding ding. He's definitely M O M the day. He's put a shift and a half in. You can see or hear. That in some places this detector crystal works better than in other places. I'm just going to quickly check, make sure we've still got a signal. Yeah, we've still got a reasonable signal. So, so as we move the spring around on the detector crystal, um, it picks up useful areas. And that was the whole idea of this system, is you basically just poked around onto the detector crystal until you actually reached uh, the area that made things work. Probably back to somewhere sporty around here. And uh, I think there's nothing at the other end of the spectrum at the moment. So, anyway, the deal was I wanted to show you this working. Um, so, uh, hopefully, uh, this has proven to you now with a decent sized coil on here uh, and things wired up to a decent size antenna. Um, 
and uh, um, all that kind of good stuff. You can sort of get a feel for the fact that this little crystal, this little crystal receiver here actually does what it says on the tin, and this microphone is real, because now you can hear me whispering, especially if you've got your headphones on, you can hear me whispering inside your head. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all of that kind of stuff. Bye. So it's snowing. Mrs. Dubious wants to go out and play in the snow. She's not seen too much snow. Give her a little push. <laughs> Whoops, getting snow all over the camera. <laughs> Even the wonderful man cave has got snow on the roof of it. Right, go in before the camera gets too wet.